Hello everyone, this is Tyler and I'm back with another video and today we're going to be talking about devices overheating, right? So laptops and desktop computers um, overheating. If you've ever had it occur, it looks something like this, right? So the screen will go um, out on you and the next thing you know, uh, you are not able to maybe start the computer or maybe it does start up and uh, you notice a decrease in performance after it did this. So let's talk about the temperatures that the computers reach um, on a normal on a normal day on just a normal day, right? So, uh, CPU temperatures they reach um, anywhere between 95 and 113 degrees Fahrenheit. When you're idle, if you're running video games or intensive applications, they could go all the way up to 131 to 149 degrees Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit. So now this is from Lenovo's website. Who better to know uh, the running temperatures of computer um, parts or co computer hardware than the guys who are actually building them? And here they're talking about CPUs, central processing units, a very, very key component, hardware component inside your computer. In fact, without it, couldn't even run. Your computer would be uh, not able to run properly without a CPU. And so if it, over, if it overheats and gets damaged, this can lead to decreases in performance or even failure of your computer entirely uh, because you know, obviously they already run hot so you can imagine the temperature that it would take to fry them out or to destroy them uh, is very hot. And so if the computer's reaching that temperature, usually you can feel it, right? So like you'll touch the bottom. Over here are the vents on the computer, right? So every laptop, now this is gonna be the case for every laptop, but they could be in different areas. But for this one, there's some here, there's some here. Now I know inside of there, because I've ripped these apart enough times, that there's fans in there usually. And so those fans, um, try to take some of that heat and disperse it out, try to release it from the device because it's that buildup of heat inside of there that usually leads to um, components being damaged on the inside. So as long as the heat is being released properly, uh, you usually don't run into the issue. So with that being said, we know we all like, like laptops are great for mobility, but at the same time, if you're in bed and you put it over a blanket and it blocks the vents and the heat can no longer disperse, well, now, the device is gonna overheat because it's gonna build up inside and it's gonna cause that hardware damage that we're talking about. So there's a couple things you can do because I'm a laptop guy, I like moving around with my laptops, I get it. You can back, uh, grab something like this, right? So this is like a an extra fan set up here. It's got the fan on the bottom, right? And so the laptop actually goes on top of that so that when you're working, right, it has release, it has, an, it has a, enough space underneath there to actually release out and not only that but it's got all those holes and an additional fan it can plug into a hub or plug into the side of the laptop if need be while you're working away from a desk because ideally it is still better to have a laptop up on the desk so that it can release properly and it, even most of the time I run mine on the desk on top of these just in case because I like to make sure that there's plenty of cooling in addition to that you want to make sure the room that it's in is not too hot um, if you have a desktop computer, don't have a complete mess around it, don't have boxes stacked up against it, you don't want your jacket thrown over the top of it um, so that it can't release the, the air as well because desktop computers also have fans inside and vents where they release that heat. So if those get blocked, the desktop could potentially run into issues with overheating as well. So uh, ultimately, takeaway, just make sure that you have a good space around your laptop or desktop computers and that will help them to avoid overheating. I hope this uh, video has helped out. As always, like, share, and follow, and comment below if you have something that you'd like to see. And as always, go check out our blog where we talk a little bit more about overheating in depth. And as always, have a great day.